Would Putin really start a nuclear war over Ukraine? Well, one of President Vladimir Putin's closest allies defiantly sent a message to NATO that should Russia face defeat on the battlefield, which could threaten the nation's very existence, it might have to use its nuclear weapons. In a telegram post on Thursday, Deputy Chairman of Russia's Security Council, Dmitry Medvedev, said the defeat of a nuclear power in a conventional war can provoke the beginning of a nuclear war. It added, nuclear powers have never lost major conflicts on which their fate depends. His comments came as NATO and other Western defense leaders were set to meet at Ramstein Air Base in Germany to talk about continued support for Ukraine. The U.S. is expected to announce another $3 billion defensive aid package for Ukraine. But this isn't the first time the Russian official has suggested that a nuclear option was on the table for Russia. Last month, the former Russian president had suggested that Russia's nuclear arsenal, the largest in the world, was among the only factors preventing the West from openly engaging in war. Is the West ready to unleash a fully-fledged war against us, including a nuclear war at the hands of Kiev? Medvedev suggested in a 4,500-word article for the Russiaskaya Gazeta newspaper. The comments from the former Russian leader also followed news that the Kremlin may have already lost upwards of a thousand soldiers just since the start of the new year. According to figures from the armed forces of Ukraine, since the start of the invasion last February 24th, Russia has seen 119,300 soldiers killed as of Friday. An additional 357,900 have been wounded, while around 1,000 have been taken prisoner. At this point, if the numbers are even close to true, Russia's losses in Ukraine are now greater than the total number of U.S. soldiers killed in the First World War. What is also noteworthy is that of the total 116,516 Americans who died in that war, 53,402 were killed in combat, while over 63,000 died from non-combat causes, largely influenza while deployed in Europe. Russia's casualties had already surpassed those recorded by the United States military in the Vietnam War, 58,220, and the Korean War, 36,500 combined, Newsweek reported. That too was notable in that the U.S. involvement in those conflicts exceeded a decade. Moreover, the figures are now approaching 10 times the official Soviet Army losses in the decade-long war in Afghanistan. Perhaps Medvedev has reason to be concerned. Imperial Russia's defeat in the Russo-Japanese War resulted in some 50,000 killed and sparked the revolution of 1905. Its losses on the battlefield during the First World War then brought down the government of Tsar Nicholas II in 1917, while the war in Afghanistan was among the factors that resulted in the dissolution of the Soviet Union at the end of the Cold War. Now, this latest Russian adventure resembles those previous conflicts and could have similar outcomes for the government in Moscow.